So for activity 10A, the Tower Bus Company uses 10 buses, which it hires to customers. For each bus, it has a registration number. So you will notice that, that this is going to be the first table. So it has a registration number, which will contain that registration number is going to contain a unique that's going to be the primary key. So it will be seven characters long. So later you will need it in the physical ERD to put seven, uh, the field size and consists of both numbers and letters that means it's going to be data type alphanumeric and then you have another attribute also it's the make and model of the bus as well as there are going to be number of seats so that's the first table will contain all those attributes second table it says the company employs 26 driver so that's going to be the second table so it has a payroll number so that seems going to be the primary key and it also company stores personal data including the name you're going to put it as a first name and second name or sorry last name and then you're going to have the address telephone number and telephone number especially they're mentioning that's going to be five numbers space and then six numbers so overall it's going to be 12 and then you have the date of birth all drivers are all uh, over 25 years old this this is right now not useful but later in access is going to be working as a validation rule so you're going to make it to be over 25 years old uh, compared to the current date the company holds up personal data about each customer so that's the third data which includes the numeric uh, customer number which is a primary key and then name first name and last name address phone number email address and each time a bus is hired for a journey it is given a unique phone number so that's going to give you a hint that this is a fourth table which will contain a primary key which is going to be a booking number and then the bus use driver uh, the bus will contain driver uh, primary key or uh, sorry the drivers uh, uh, payroll number so date time of the journey daytime always there is a start date end date so start date end date start time and time of the journey and the, there is a customer's uh, details or his main id and then you're going also to put the number of the mass the journey has taken so from all those information we need to create a conceptual logical and physical erd so we have three levels of erds conceptual which is the basic of all of them like we learned here which is containing the title and the attributes and will be connected to each others with one to many or depending on the relationship second one which is the logical it has one extra uh, point which is going to be the alphanumeric which is the data type sorry not the alphanumeric data type could be alphanumeric could be numeric it could be currency it could be date and time it could be different data types and the last one will contain one extra uh, information, which is going to be the field size. And with the field size, you can put whether it is a primary key or foreign key or just nothing. It's just a normal uh, attribute. For example, here, these are our primary keys. And then if there is a connection, you can mention these are the foreign keys if they are from the primary key coming. OK, so basically, based on this point, we're going to create our and there is one hint that it's not going to be next to each other because it contains usually many attributes over here so i have already made it ready so you will be able to see that's the first one i put it as let me expand it okay that's the first conceptual erd we, I've converted all those information into tables and I have used insert shapes and I used this rounded rectangle. Okay. I've drawn them. I put all the information over here. So that's the first conceptual ERD. And the relationship, as mentioned, the mo main basically uh, you will find the journeys is the main active or transaction table that needs all the points happening in it so you will notice relation is one too many to all of them and this is our main most main table in logical we're going to add the data type so you have to check your question paper and you have to guess the rest whatever is not given okay 
and the last one is going to be a physical you're going to add uh, you're going to add the field size and whether it is primary key or foreign key foreign key only it will be in a case you got uh, from another table or relationship or connected to it which is was primary key and it got connected to a foreign key um, I think I have here I no, these are not foreign keys not foreign keys because of copy pasting it happened these are correct okay so that's all what you need to do just remember when you create the first one copy and paste everything to the second page so you can save time and then put tab and that's going to push it will put equal spacing for all of you for all of the fields so for example like this put tab and it's going to make equal spacing for all of those uh, data types and their fields so that's all let's move to the next task